Hi everyone, this is Dippy Dippy here. Now, I was going to review Yuri on Ice and another anime, but I will save that for tomorrow. This is what my... I'm going to go on a rant about anime horror. Every time I watch a top 10 horror serial killer or anything sort of thing of anime, no one mentions Higarashi. It pisses me off. Okay, I understand that the dub sucks, but it's a really thought out anime, and anime nowadays when it comes to horror, all they care about is the fucking grueling deaths, which makes no goddamn sense. You feel me? Because the fact of the matter is, is that Higurashi builds up the tension of the horror. Not most animes do that, they just let people die left and right, and blah this, blah that, that doesn't make it more... Doesn't make it more intense or insane. The only anime I can recall that does, does some of that. Oh no, it doesn't really do that because an alpha lad, alpha leader, what the fuck it's called, they kill off the right off the gate. Higurashi doesn't do that. Even though the first scene is the first scene, the first episode of the series, they show um uh, Kanichi killing his two best friends, and then all of a sudden it's a more comic like base. Until you get four episodes or three episodes in, and then they start killing each other. That's what I like about a horror anime. I want to build up the tension of people dying left and right when it comes to horror anime. Most of these top tens, yeah, I get why the fuck. It's like, for example, the top ten most serious, most of the deadliest girls. Why is it fucking Ren, Rena in, in that category? Why isn't any of the Hikarashi females in that? Marsh Mojo is being fucking biased. I love Higurashi. It's like my favorite horror anime. Not these fucking chump ass. Dead Man Wonderland. That has another issue. It kills off every person. Kills off some characters off that I thought was going to be a main staple. But they, then they just die off right off the gate. I mean seriously. When it comes to Dead Man Wonderland. That's more of an action packed anime. More than freaking horror. I mean, the first episode ha has a girl holding up a head. That's kind of scary. But then it's more action-packed. And I don't freaking get that. Why is it categorized as horror? Especially when you're using your blood as a fucking weapon. It makes no fucking sense. Alpha Lead. Why the fuck would I... Why the fuck are these people scared of it? Uh, that one's more story-based, sort of. But it doesn't really build up some of the characters that die off right off the gate. It only does like five or six characters. Higurashi does everyone that's in the main category. And he doesn't really show up. I don't like horror that much. It's That's why it's my fifth favorite genre. But I've been mostly watching sports. Now then, with that being said, Yuri on Ice. When I do make the review... If you like it, you're probably going to hate me for it. <laughs> I'll explain it why, but I guarantee to you, when I make that review video, you will fucking hate me. I guarantee it. I mean, seriously. I'm in like eight episodes in of both the animes, because when I watch an anime, I watch a sub anime and a dub anime. I'm watching Yuri on Ice dubbed, and I'm watching a cheerleading one sub. The cheerleading one is actually pretty funny. I'm not a big fan of cheerleading. I don't think cheerleading should be a sport. But I do have a lot of respect for both sports. Because it's teaching me that figure skating takes a lot of mental stamina to do it. And I understand that. But the problem is... I'll explain that when I get a chance. But when it comes to the cheerleading one, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love some... Uh, some animes are really good. Now then, with that being said, most of my reviews lately have been um, sports. I'm trying to knock off as many sports animes as I can before I move on to other genres like comedy, slice of life, harem. I'm not looking forward to that one even though most of the characters have big boobs when it comes to harem. I don't fucking get that. Why the fuck is harem all the shit, all the, uh, the guy always gets all the girls with the big boobs. That makes no fucking sense. But it is Japan though. So I kind of figure as much. Then there's the genre um, shonen. I'm not a big fan of shonen. And the main reason why is that most of the shonen animes don't know when to end. For example, Naruto. 
it took, for, I don't know, like 500, no, wait, no, 720 episodes just to end that. And they're continuing on with the spinoff series, Baruto. Dragon Ball has like three Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and Dragon Ball Super. And Dragon Ball Heroes. I forgot about that one too. Even though that one should be easy to watch because it's 11 minutes long. Then you got One Piece that never knows when the fucking end because it's on its 800 fucking episode. But the only reason why I have a lot of respect for One Piece is because of the fact that A, um, A, um, sorry, I'm trying to think of a way to explain this. The reason why I like One Piece is that they don't change the fucking title. That's the only reason why I like One Piece. Dragon Ball does it. Naruto does it. Freaking. Freaking. Um, yeesh, even fucking Pokemon do it. Yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon Orange League or whatever the fuck it's called. Which the uh, fucking jackass Tracy. And what's a fucking hate. See, that's what I don't understand. It seems like Tracy's like the only person that shows up on every single Pokemon series. Every once in a while, which is kind of fucking funny, because all, he, all he's doing is hanging out with Professor Oak. It's like, I'm here too, guys. How you doing? Brock and Misty are like my favorite characters. And I also had a crush on May when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. May was like one of those characters that I absolutely loved, because she was mostly in the contest. Most of the characters were just side cast characters. That's probably why. I did. I like Don a little bit, but not a lot. But yeah, but that's beside the point. The main issue is the fact that I do not like horror anime anymore because of the fact that it's more gory and more shit like that. It pisses me off. But yeah, I'm uh, right now I'm going to do a review tomorrow because there's because both animes I'm going to probably try to finish up tonight or tomorrow. If I finish tonight, you'll get another video of this, and you're going to see why I'm frustrated with both genres of the anime. You're on ice, and, so, and I'll put the title in the review for the other anime, because the other anime is Japanese, and I can't say it. But, anyway, the cheerleading one, kind of good. The only reason why it's good is because it's mostly comedy, and I love it, because it's fucking hilarious. Um... Yuri on Ice, I'll explain that to my extent, but like I said before, I'm not going into details because if I go into details, then it's going to be like, you know, I already know about what the anime I'm going to watch. Now then, here's the problem with me watching anime. I'm starting to run out of anime to watch because... Right now, I'm on I'm on anime two like almost up to two twenty now, and I'm starting to feel like I'm running out of animes to watch. That's comedy, slice of life, um, you know, sports. But the only reason why I like sports more is because I love sports outside of anime. It's like the only thing I watch now on TV other than anime is sports. I watch fucking football. I watch fucking hockey. I watch um, baseball sometimes even though it's fucking boring. I'd rather watch fucking paint dry just like fucking golf. I know fucking golf. That's the only reason why I watch that fucking golf anime. Which fucking sucks. There's no substance to it. I gave that anime a fucking four because of how stupid it was. It was so fucking bad. Uh, I thought it was going to be, oh, 26 episodes. They're going to show me how to use, like, all these uh, shots and have to teach it. No, fuck no. You know what they do? They let them just hit the ball and there you go. That is the most stupidest shit ever. And the worst thing about that fucking anime, and I guarantee you, I don't fucking care if I'm spoiling it, is the fact that the main character is trying to see his mom again. He never does. It's 26 fucking episodes, and she doesn't come up until, like, episode 24. And when 25 and 26, their, his father says to his mom, because they're both, his mom and dad are trying to find out. They are trying to be nice to each other and say, you should go see him, no? And what the fuck? You say no, the kid wants to see you, you stupid bitch. I mean, seriously, I know you work in a fucking run-down fucking cafe, but seriously, get a fucking clue. 
I mean, seriously, this is why I like anime so much, is because I can point out the flaws of the anime. Now then, with that being said, though, that anime has its own flaws because of the fact that it teaches you some shots and some strategies when you go golfing, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's no substance. It doesn't really have a thing. I thought the first episode, it was mostly baseball because he was whacking stuff with a baseball bat. Which I kind of enjoy because I like a big wind up. See, sports animes are like hit and miss for me. I mean, big wind up, um, basketball, Kogoros, basketball, that one's a good one. Hoop Days is kind of alright. It's in the smack dab in the middle. And the rest of the animes are like, like 6th, 7th, or 8th because of the fact that I don't know that much about the anime the sport as a whole. That's why I want to watch anime. To learn more about different types of... That's the only reason. Why I will never watch the sport. Ice Shield 21. Because of the fact. I know it has. And it's not because it has 145 episodes. It's. The only reason why I won't watch it. Is because I know everything about fucking football. And I don't need to watch an anime. That's based off of American football. Soccer, I can get, because at least I don't know anything about fucking soccer, and I love learning about new sports and new stuff and new styles and stuff, and that's what I like about it. That's what I like about Big Windup. I knew baseball. I watched it a couple times, but I thought it was boring. But Big Windup showed me um, how to, how to um, uh, what's it called? Show me the strategies of baseball, and that's what I like about it. Even though I only played one full game, which makes no fucking sense to me. But that one, that the second season I haven't been able to watch, but I've seen the ending of it, so it doesn't really bother me. When it comes to watching anime, if there's an English dub, I'll watch the English dub and not watch the sub if there's a second season, because that's where I stop. Unless it's Higurashi. Higurashi is the other cousin and cattle. I've watched Higurashi... So many fucking times. I love Higurashi. I love it. It's awesome. Magical Monica is a weird fucking one. Oh yeah. I should have mentioned that when I was going on a rant about uh, my Magical Girls animes. Because Sasami and the Magical, Cl Magical Girls Club is probably like the best one I've watched from that genre of Magical Girls. And I think New Mew Power fucking sucks. It's your Jenna Mills fucking thing. It's like, it's worse than the, I rather, it's like, it's like up there with Glitter Force. Glitter Force was like painful to watch. It was really bad. Both of those were bad. Now then, with that being said, I have watched another type of, I have watched another Magical Girls anime, and it's called Magical Monica. I gave that one a four. But it's not because of the fact that it was good. Magical Monica is just weird. I mean, it's like the only Magical Girls anime that I've seen that one of the main characters fucking dies. She gets her head decapitated by a weird fucking thing that they call witches. It makes no fucking sense. That anime made my brain warp. On um, what the fuck is a Magical Girls anime now? That's like the most weirdest one. <laughs> it's like the only anime that I don't understand. Until the very end where they explain everything. And what the fuck is going on. That's the only reason why. And, it, I mean, and, and the ending doesn't make any sense either. And that's why I have a problem with it. I know there's like a bunch of fucking um, uh, movies about it. You should watch it. It's fucking weird. It's out there. I don't get it. But it's probably the best one other than Sasami and the Magical Girls Club. Those are the only two. When it comes to school animes, another is okay. I mean, another is where a bunch of classmates in the classroom is cursed and they start killing each other. Or kill themselves for that matter. In the beginning part, they kill themselves. Fucking teacher fucking stabs his throat out with a fucking knife. How the fuck? Dude, if you're going to go that insane, you should do it in the house. I mean, seriously, you don't need to have scar these fucking kids for life and then they start panicking even worse. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? That's another issue I have with horror. 
I mean, seriously, there's a horror anime that everyone says, oh, it's the best. It's about vampires taking over this world and turning people into vampires. But the problem is, though, is the fact that, to my opinion, the anime, all the anime characters that are dying because of these vampires, they should fucking die. Because the main fucking character does not have fucking eyes for no fucking reason. I mean, seriously. If the guy has, if your eyes are pitch black, you should really notice that he, she's a fucking something else other than a fucking human. I mean, seriously, it's fucking lo logic. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? It makes no fucking sense. I mean, seriously, if if some guy comes at you and says hi, you, and they have like dark souls coming out of their eyeballs, you should like, okay, yeah, stay away from him. It's common fucking knowledge, man. All the all the fucking people in the village. Should die because they're a bunch of fucking idiots. And the people that try to do something, they fucking die anyway. I've only got up to episode 15. There's 22 fucking episodes. I need to finish that anime. But I don't know if I can because I already know what's going to happen. All the characters are going to die because the main character is a fucking vampire. And she's the one who kills the fucking monk probably. I can see her from a mile away. It's fucking obvious. My god. Sorry, I'm just like... <sighs> When it comes to anime, I'm so fucking passionate about it. If you want me to watch an anime, leave a comment down below. If it's sub or dub, I'll watch it at some point. But I need like I need action, fantasy, magical, magic, um, harem, ichi. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, drama, romance, vampires. Although Rosalian plus vampires is a good one. That's like the only va good vampire anime. I mean, Vampire Night fucking sucks. I mean, the third season, they both have incest, which makes no fucking sense. Why the fuck would you sleep with a fucking vampire in the first fucking place? Even though the vampire that you're sleeping with is your fucking brother. That makes no fucking sense. But whatever. Um, You've got comedy, of course. Action, adventure. Sports. Shonen I Yuri, I never watched Yuri. I don't I try to stay away from Yuri. The only Yuri anime I've kind of technically watched is Blue Drop and I fucking hated it. Cause it made no fucking sense. Because the main character fucking dies at the end. I don't fucking get that, but whatever. Um and the fact that it has something to do with aliens or some shit like that. But yeah. <laughs> See I can go on this rant on what anime I love. Like I said, comedy is like my favorite ones. The last comedy anime that I watched was fucking amazing. And the only reason why I was... Tr I should have watched it earlier. And the only reason why I, tr I tried to find it is because of Ted of Brain Scratch Commentaries. He's the main reason. They were, they, he, they, were mentioning, they were mentioning the anime when they were doing the Mega Man, Mega Man number 9 commentary on brain scouts commentaries and i'm like he's like you should watch this anime it's like oh okay i tried to find it for the longest time but then i found it and it's really fucking good it's really fucking good i love it because it's a little kid who's like smarter than everyone and she's like in high school and she's like 10 and she's like and she's making everyone have fun and stuff it's fucking hilarious <laughs> but yeah I love anime. Anime is like my life. If I if if I if if there's one thing that I can take away, you can't take away two things. Video games, because no matter what happens, I'm always gonna go back to it. Cause I love playing video games because it eases the mind and gets my stress out. And number two, which should be number one, is anime, because anime is the main reason why I haven't gone completely insane yet. But yeah. I'm very passionate about anime. If you guys like an anime, like for example, um, Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online. I haven't watched either of those two. I'm trying to stay away from them because of the fact that I know that I will eventually get to them at some point. I just try to stay away from mainstream anime. Those are the only two animes that are like, you know, mainstream and I don't want to touch them until I'm ready. Because Attack on Titan is supposed to be scary, but I don't see the scariness of it. Makes no fucking sense to me. But yeah. 
Hope you guys have a nice positive night. Take care. Um, stay positive. And yeah, this video is gone for 20 minutes. Have a nice day, everyone.